So yesterday we ran offshore, focusing our efforts on yellowfin tuna. We were able to mix it up between the troll and the chunk by utilizing the Therese Blue Water full roller 48 inch models, both medium heavy and heavy. We were able to catch fish utilizing both techniques on both models with success. Today, we're gonna to try something a little different. Today, we're gonna to step up to the 48 XHs paired with Tiagra 80s to go for giant bluefin. When fishing for giant bluefin, I like a three rod setup. Two floating baits out on balloons and then one bait right next to the boat on a sinker. First, we gotta be able to go make some bait, so we're gonna focus on that. We're gonna fish some wire, get out south of the islands, drag the bottom, and hopefully we can make some bait quickly, get out on the water and see what this rod's made of. first bait we let out will go the furthest and that'll be the highest up in the water column. I like putting the furthest bait out the highest in the water column because the fish that are up high that are going to eat that bait will be the most boat shy, get that away from the boat. And then as the balloons get closer, those will be your deeper baits and then the one on a sinker will be down the deepest. Yeah, he's there, put it up. Tight, got him. Baddest fish in the ocean. Just putting on a full harness. Pretty good chance this fish is well over 500, 600 pounds or more. So with that high power drag, you need something to be able to put your weight into the fight equation. So I'm gonna put on a full harness, get myself ready, and see what this Therese Blue Water has. Going at him, one motor, nice and easy. See if we can get him straight up and down. Right now I'm just keeping up with the fish on the surface, trying to keep a steady gain on him until he charges back at us. Once he charges back at us, I put the boat in reverse to try to keep the line as slack for as little as possible. That's the most important guy in the boat. The guy in the wheel reads both the body language of the angler, the angle of the fish, and the personality of the fish and has to make those quick reactions to compensate whenever the fish gets the upper hand to give the angler a little bit more of an advantage. Understanding what one turn means ahead of time is a big help. It's always good to have an idea of what you want and how you want to communicate it. Well then. Fortunately for me, I'm well equipped for the fight stand-up. Using a Tiagra 80 with the 48-inch Therese Blue Water XH model an 80 class rod and you'll notice right away even with a lot of pressure on it here I'm not getting any rolling even if I turn sideways the rod isn't rolling and flexing in an opposite direction that's because of that high power X technology a series of crosses of carbon fiber tape wrapped opposite in one direction up the blank and then in the opposite direction back down the blank and what that does is not only it dictates the action of the rod but it reduces ovalization and it also reduces any flexing or bending of the rod under load. It's a basic UD glass blank with that advanced technology of Spiral X and High Power X, giving you the ultimate in both durability and performance. Got Winthrop rollers on it. That's allowing for not only the line to run through, but the tolerances on them are much tighter. So when I get into my backing and the braid gets in there, I don't have to worry about the braid catching in the guide and shearing me off. Also got a Winthrop butt, fully adjustable, so that I can get it at just the right angle for me here. All of these Therese Blue Water Series rods are made so that you can customize the butt on them to fit every style of fishing you want to do. Long butt, short butt, bent butt. We like the Terminator style or the adjustable style because sometimes we switch up between a straight butt and a curve. But we'll see how this plays out. Because I'm fighting stand-up style, I'm using the advantage of a harness. The harness helps me add my weight and the inertia to the fight, puts a little bit more pressure on the rod tip by allowing me to sit back and throw my legs into the fight as much as my arms, chest, and lungs. The big advantage with this setup being 48 inches, as opposed to one of the longer setups you might have mounted in a gunnel, is that it's keeping that fulcrum closer to my body. So 
Imagine holding a weight at the end of a stick. The longer that stick was, it'd feel a lot harder to hold it up. So the closer that inertia and that fulcrum is to your body, the more advantage you have placing power on the tip of that rod to put pressure on it to lift it up. So by having a bent butt versus just a straight butt, you're getting an exponential bonus in the amount of angle on the upward lift of the rod compared to if you just had a straight rod, it would be almost a one-to-one -one ratio as you lean back. I got him lip gaff. Jack, hand me the swim hook. We're gonna, okay. We're gonna get this in his mouth and we're gonna start swimming this fish as quick as possible to get a safe release. Right in the bottom lip, doesn't hurt the fish at all. Now that I got that here, we're gonna start swimming them. Putting the boat in gear at a slow, slow speed. We're swimming this fish now to get it revived, to let him catch his breath. Getting water through his gills to get a safe release. This fish is 110 inches. 700, 750 pounds. This fish is starting to kick really good. Caught its breath, we swam it for 10 minutes now. It's starting to kick really good. We're gonna send it home. 